everybody. How are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing today. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy as well as on Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges to help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for that next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. And I also have stickers in my Etsy shop now too, in case you haven't seen those. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to figure out how much I need to budget for for this week from this week's paycheck. So we are on week one of July, a whole new month, and we are on week 27 for the year. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into our first game. And the very first game that I have here is Celebrating Freedom, 4th of July. This is a new game that I just added into my Etsy shop. There are now three games that are printables, you guys. Three games that are printable. I know that the previous games that I have been um, putting into my Etsy shop were exclusively for Good Notes 5, but there have been so many of you that have told me that you don't use Good Notes 5, you don't use an iPad for um, doing your money savings challenges, and so I went ahead and I have now created printables. So um, because my uh, printer only prints in black, I did not want to have to go to Staples and go get color prints. <laughs> so um, although I have it on my iPad, when you purchase these, they, uh, my games, um, these ones are printable. So just letting you know that they are a PDF when you purchase them and you will get two sheets. You will get the game board and then you will also get the second page which gives you all of the rules on how to play and then it also has the trackers down here below so then you can easily track how much you're saving along the way while you are playing along. Now this one here is the Celebrating Freedom 4th of July and I love how this one turned out. So with this one, it has this man that's over here cooking hamburgers for all of the party goers. Um, inside of the square, I have a hamburger and then there are some 4th of July sunglasses. Uh, there is this bathing suit right over here. And then I have these uh, little nuggets that are swimming inside of the swimming pool. And then I have a hot dog and then I have some board shorts. And then there is this cute flamingo inflatable with the beach ball inside. Um, inside the square we have lemonade. We have this woman here that is laying out in the sun on her inflatable with some sunglasses on. And then we have some more cute little nuggets over here in, uh, in the center of their inflatables. And then of course, because this is firework themed um, for 4th of July, we do have a firecracker here. And then we have the man grilling up now some chicken and all of in his friends that are surrounding him having some drinks and just kind of hanging out. And then if you remember this little popsicle from the ice cream man, uh, I had to add this one in. I just, I just loved it. I remember when I was younger and whenever it was 4th of July and the ice cream man came around, I would always get these firecracker popsicles. Uh, I just loved them. Um, and then I have the slippers, red, white, and blue slippers. And then, of course, the grand finale. We have the fireworks right here with the firework that exploded and then of course USA. So I love the way that this one turned out. So I have another one, another game that is called Summer Savings. And then I had a special request from somebody um, that wanted me to make a zombie slash Halloween themed. And so I was able to fulfill that request and now there is a zombie savings in my Etsy shop also. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started since I kind of gave you a product preview on this Celebrating Freedom game. Uh, we will move forward and um, I think I'm going to make some more of these types of games and I'll add those into my Etsy shop. And then when I get a few under the belt, 
then I'll do a product preview on the other ones in case you're not following me over on Etsy. So as you can see, um, there are images as I was going through, there are images inside of the smaller boxes. Um, those ones are for you to assign how much you want to save when you land on those images. Also on the larger images. So for the smaller images, let's say for example, you wanted to save $15 um, for the smaller images and then $20 for the larger images. That is, uh, that is totally perfectly fine. You will see here that I already have pre-assigned $1, $5, and $10 inside of the boxes that have dollar amounts that are showing. Well, as far as the smaller amounts, if you want to do $15, you can do $15. But if you want to make it maybe $2 or $3, or you still want to make it either $1 or $5, you can do that. This is for you to assign how much you want to assign those smaller and larger images. But for me and my household, what I am going to do is I am going to assign the smaller images as $15, as I had said, so let me go ahead and write in $15 if I land on the smaller images. And for the larger image, I am going to save $20 if I land on a larger image, okay? So with now those being pre-assigned, we can now get ready to save um, or play the game. So um, these are the dice. You can play with dice. This game obviously does not come with dice and this is not a digital game. So it is not assigned like my Good Notes 5 board games. They do not come with a page with um, the dice because these this game is intended to play as a printable, okay? So as far as the dice go, um, if you wanna roll two dice, you can roll two dice. However, you will have less chances to save, okay? So let's say I roll um, two sixes, that's 12. You're gonna get uh, pretty far in this board game um, by rolling two dice. But if you roll one dice or one die and you roll a six, then you could actually roll two separate sixes and you'll get a six you'll save that much and then roll a six again and then you would get to save twice over. So does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense as I'm explaining this. So you just have more um, opportunities to save. Now, if you do not have um, dice at your home, that is perfectly okay um, because as it says here on the rule page, you can ask actually ask SIRI to roll one die and she will roll one die for you. Or if you have Alexa, she will also help you roll a die as well. So a perfect example, let's go through a couple of runs so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to use uh, my SIRI just so then you know how uh, it works, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do um, the first roll. So, hey Siri, roll one die. Okay, one. Okay, so she said one, all right. So let's go ahead and this is my first spot right here. So I am going to come over here and I am going to make a square and I am going to go ahead and color this square in to indicate that that's where I ended up landing. You know what, actually I want this to highlight. Is this gonna give me a highlight here? Let me see. For some reason it didn't highlight it. So let me see what's going on here. Hold and draw. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's not going to now. Okay, well this is kind of weird. This is a change of events. Let's see, let me go back and maybe I need to make it a shape now. So let's see, give me just a moment. Oh, okay, I need to do a shape now. Okay, so I have that, let me go ahead and adjust this just a little bit. All right, so that is um, number one and I landed on the first image. So let's go over to our tracker and today's date is uh, seven, I need to go over to my pen now, seven, four, that was yesterday's date. I know I'm a day late, that's okay. And this is for week number one and I am going to be saving $20 
and that gives me a balance of $20 right now for my first roll. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do a second roll. So roll one die. Rolling. It came up four. All right, so it came up four. So now we, we know that we were right here, and so now I am gonna go and do four more spaces. So one, two, three, and four. And so I landed on this $5 right here. So let's go ahead and go over to my shape. And we are just gonna go ahead and put a square around this one until it pops. And there we go, $5. All right, so now you're gonna go back over here to your tracker and this is gonna be seven, four, week number one and we are saving $5. So that brings us a balance of $25 that I need to save for this week. And I'm gonna stop there. So every week I am going to play two rounds in front of you. And depending on how it goes by the end of week four, by the end of the month, um, I may be short a few hands. We will find out when we get to the end of the month. If we're not done with this game, then I will play um, as many times as the, get, the dice will allow to get to the end of the game because I only want this to be a month long game for my household. So, but right now, hey, you know what? $25 is not bad to save for this first week. So let's go ahead and I'm done with this one and let's put this one to the side. The next savings challenge that I have here is the 52-week um, savings challenge where I'm trying to save $1,378 in a year. And because we are on week 27, um, we are the beginning of a whole new half a year. So we've already gone through half a year and now we're starting on a whole nother new half. So because we are on week 27, that's how much I need to save for the 52-week savings challenge. All right, the next savings challenge that I have here is roll the dice. And on roll the dice, I am starting on a whole new column here for week 27. And again, um, I have my dice here and I'm gonna pick two dice right here. And let's go ahead and give them a roll. And I rolled double ones. Well, that's not very much, but you know what? That's okay. All right, so that tells me that I need to save $2 for this week. All right, so that is uh, $2 for a roll of dice. All right, the next challenge that I have here is a Bunko Against Time, and we are on game four for round two. So let's go ahead and circle round four, or I'm sorry, game four. And so the object of this is to roll three fours. Um, in order to get a bunko. If I don't get three fours, um, but I get three ones, twos, uh, threes, fives, or sixes, then that's th still a three of a kind, but they're only worth five points. Bunkos are worth 21. If I get one or two fours on my dice, then those are only worth one point each, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's do, let's ask Siri, because this is Bunko against time, we are not playing against 11 other players. I am playing against time, so I'm going against a two minute timer. So I will be trying to roll as many fours as I can in a matter of two minutes. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Set two minute timer. Two minutes, starting now. All right, so let's go. So we have one four here. So I have a uh, four, five, and a three. Um, I have a five and two threes, no points, six, two sixes and one five, no points. I have a six, four, and a one, so that's only one point. I have a six, three, and a four, that is one point. And then we have a three, one, and a four, that is one point. We have six, five, and two, zero points. We have two fours and a one, so we have one and two. And then we have a six, three, and two, that's zero points. Ooh, two fours again, one, two, and then a one. 
And then we have a six, five, and a one, that's zero points, six, three, and one, zero points, six, three, and one, zero points. Woo, three sixes, yoo -hoo! Okay, so that is three sixes. So it's not a bunko, it's a three of a kind, so that is worth five points. Um, we have two sixes and a five. I love it when I get those numbers. We have a six, five, and a two. Um, we have a five and two ones. Six, one, and one, four. Uh, six, three, and a two. Two fours and a three. Oh, I got three, uh, three sixes. Woohoo! <laughs> Another three of a kind. Exciting! All right, a six and two threes. Uh, six, five, and a two. Ah, oh, it was so close to a bunko. Six and two fours. That was so close. It was almost a four and then it like rolled over at the very last minute to a six. Um, three, one, and a four. That's one point. And then we have a six, two, and a one. And then we have a two fours and a six. So close to another bunko again. Um, five, three, and a two. All right. There's my timer. My timer is going off. So that means I need to end that. That is done. And now let's go ahead and add up how much I need to save. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, and then I have 23 and 26. So $26 is how much I need to save for from this week's Bunko Against Time. I love this game. It is so much fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one that we have here is dominoes. So let's go ahead and get the dominoes out here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my head so I can pick a few dominoes. I'm going to pick two dominoes um, because this is a bi-weekly challenge, but I am doing this every single week until the end of the year. So typically with this game, you would, um, if because this one here is the bi-weekly one, I have a uh, weekly, a 52 week, uh, and then I also have a daily that will get you through an entire month. But this one um, is a bi-weekly and um, I, I picked this one up. Uh, well, I didn't pick it up, but <laughs> I am including it into my savings challenges because it is a 26 week and I wanted to do one every single week to get me uh, until the end of the year. And this one will work because it's 26 weeks and if I do it every single week, it'll get me to the end of the year. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and pick a few dominoes. I'm gonna pick this one and let's go ahead and pick, uh, let's pick this one. All right, so these are the ones that I picked. Let me go ahead and put these ones inside this basket. Come on, you're hiding in there. <clears throat> All right. So those are put away. All right. So with my dominoes, I have my dominoes to where they are more than the average. Um, these ones are called uh, double color dots. Okay. So on this one, I have a three and I have a two. And then on this one, I have a seven and I have a one. So I have three plus two plus seven plus one. That is $13 right there. Okay, give me just a moment. It sounds like my gardener is here. Okay, it wasn't. It was somebody else's gardener. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I need to save $13 for the Domino's Challenge. So let me go ahead and put those ones inside my basket. And that challenge is complete. The next challenge that I have here, you know what? Let me go ahead and move over to this one. This is save the change and on save the change, here's my change for this week right here. So I have 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44 cents. So let's go ahead and put that there, right in 44 cents for this week for Save the Change. The next one that I have here is zero out. And for zero out, I am transferring $1.80 from my checking account. 
and transferring that over into my savings account. So that's $1.80 for zero out. The next challenge that I have here is the 52 card pickup challenge. Let's go ahead and take the tracker out. <clears throat> and on this one, I have my deck of cards. There are 52 cards in a deck. So that works out conveniently for this challenge because there are 52 weeks in a year. So the cards that I have already picked out are sandwiched between two jokers. So you will see here that there is, let me get to the top. So I have one joker here, all of the cards that I have picked so far, and then I have my second joker. Since I've already picked all of these cards, I'm gonna set those to the side, and then these are the cards that I need to pick from. <clears throat> now, with that being said, I also have these little pieces of paper right here from uh, people uh, that follow me here on this channel, my subscribers. And in my videos, they let me know where I should pick from the deck. So um, what I do is I will pick one of these pieces of paper and I will read to you where they want me to pick from the deck and that's where I will pick from. So let's go ahead and just give these a quick little shuffle. I have no idea who is, well, I know who's in here because um, I wrote their names down, but I don't know which one is who's um, at this point. So if you are watching this video and you've gotten this far, um, let me know down in the comments where you think I should pick from the deck and uh, I'll and if and I'll add your name into uh, this little pile of papers, and then maybe your name will be picked. So we will see. Now we are um, on week 27, so there are just so that you know there are 26 cards inside of this deck. So just letting you know in case you're wondering, or maybe it's 25 now, um, in case you're wanting to tell me where to pick from the deck. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this one right here. And this one is from Amy Lane. Amy says to pick the fourth card from the top. So let's go ahead and pick the fourth card from the top. Actually, Amy, thank you so much. You just left this comment from last week's video. <laughs> I remember you leaving that comment just last week. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. There's one, there's one, two, three, and this is number four. So we are saving $10 this week. So let's go ahead and put, um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and write this down here on my tracker. So this is going to be for seven, four, week number 27. And we are saving ten dollars because we got the um, the ten of clubs. So let's go ahead and put that check mark there to show that we picked that card. All right. So with uh, ten dollars going in at the end of the week, we will have a total of two hundred and thirty-eight dollars in the envelope by next week. So thank you so much, Amy, for letting me know where to pick from the deck for this week. I appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And then our 10 of clubs is gonna go between the two jokers right there. There's a second one. And then my other cards that I haven't picked go on the top. And then they go back into the deck, so then they don't, or into the box, so they don't get lost or misplaced. So that is the 52 card pickup challenge. The next challenge that I have here is Saveopoly. And on Saveopoly, I am right here where last time I, or last week, I had to save $22. So I'm going to go ahead and roll one die to see where I need to move on the game board this time. And I rolled a two, so that is one and two. I landed on a railroad and I need to save $15. So I need to start on a new tracker since the tracker on the envelope is now full. So let's go ahead and write this in. So we have seven, four, and this is for week number 27. 
Did I put week one on that last one? Here, wait just one second. I don't remember what I did. Oh no, I did it right, Wait, 27. For some reason I thought I said week one. All right, so week 27 and it was saving $15.00. And let's see, I had uh, $571 in the envelope, or I have $571 in there right now. And when I add in my $15 at the end of the week, I will have a total of $586 inside of the cash envelope. So pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. All right, so that is saving $15 for Saveopoly. All right, so now that I have all of my challenges completely done, now I'm going to use this little tracker here. This is the weekly breakdown totals tracker where I want to write in all of the totals from all of the challenges that I've participated in for this week because I need to figure out how much I actually need to save and budget for from this week's paycheck. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so with the Celebrating Freedom 4th of July, um, we needed to save $25. Here, I'm gonna use my tracker, $25 for that challenge. So let's go ahead and write $25 there. The 52 weeks challenge, we are on week 27. So that was $27. Roll the dice. Uh, let's go ahead and get the roll the dice challenge and that one was here and that one was two dollars because I rolled double ones so not a whole lot of savings there but that's okay then we have bunko against time and on bunko against time it was twenty six dollars that we needed to save for this week then we have dominoes and for Domino's, we needed to save a total of $13. And then the zero out was $1.80. And then we have save the change. That one was 44 cents. And then the 52 card pickup, that one was $10 because we landed on the 10 of clubs. And then for Saveopoly, it was $15 because we landed on a railroad. Okay, so now um, we need to add up all of these totals here and that will give us our total of how much we need to save and budget for from this week's paycheck for week one of July. So let's go ahead and add all of these up really quick. Just give me just a moment. $1.80 and then 44 cents, $10 and then 15. So that is $120.24. Give me just a moment because I always like to double check to make sure that I add these all up correctly because sometimes um, the way that I press these numbers on my calculator, it doesn't always press right. So um, by double checking, I know that I've done it right. Okay, so 120, 24, and that's how much I have. So now that I know how much I need to budget for from this week, now I'm going to get this total and I'm going to transfer this total or carry it over to this tracker. And on this tracker, we will have four weeks. So I will not be utilizing week five or the bonus because I do um, too many challenges. So week five, there's only four weeks in July, so that one won't be used. So for week one, I'm going to write in now 120, 24 for the first week. Once I have one through week four complete, then I will add all of those totals up. That will give me my grand total of how much I save for the entire month of July. Once I have my total for how much I save for the month of July, then I'm going to carry that total over to this tracker. And then from this tracker, I will write that grand total right here for the month of July. 
Once I have every single month done and complete at the end of December, I will add all of the totals from all of the months up once again, and then that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2022. So anyways, everybody, that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you enjoyed some of the new challenges that I have um, that I have incorporated into this month. I want to thank you all so much once again for watching, especially if you are here all the way to the end of this video. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you're given a notification of whenever a new uh, video uh, goes up here on my YouTube channel. And also if you like any of these savings challenges that I've showed you today, uh, or you uh, would like to see more that I have to offer, then head on over to my Etsy shop and take a look at what I have available. And I hope you find something there. Um, if you have any questions about any of my challenges, please do ask before you purchase. That ways we can, I can answer any questions that you may have. Also, if you need me to alter any of these challenges in any given way, then please let me know. Um, and I can make those changes for you to accommodate your, uh, the way that you save in your household. Um, but anyways, um, while you were there, uh, at my Etsy shop, if you can give it a follow, because that definitely helps my shop out a ton. And also if you have purchased any of my savings challenges in the past, then I would absolutely love it if you would take the time to leave a review. Uh, that way I know how much you've liked it and also it helps those that are interested in any of my savings challenges um, that if they're on the fence from purchasing either that challenge or from my shop, then your review helps tremendously, not only me and my shop, but also the um, possible person that will be purchasing from my shop. So anyways, everybody have a wonderful rest of the day. And until next time, I will see you guys on Friday. Stay safe out there. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.